what is life and business coaching? That's a very good question. So my mission is to inspire and empower all people to dream, forge their own path and be a leader in their own life. And why do I say that? You know, when we're born, we're born into a context. We're born into a context with all these ideas of who we, should, we need to be. You know, boys don't cry, girls cross their legs, become an engineer, become a doctor. But what most people, whether it's parents, teachers, society, aren't asking is, who do you really want to be? So um, life coaching is helping people reclaim their power, reclaim their freedom, and to start forging their own path and be their leader of their life and to build that strength within them. Because boy, oh boy, when you choose to be yourself, people are out there to pull you down. Yeah, uh, 100%. Um, I'm really curious to know that because there's such a long process in in getting to, to help a client go from where they are when you, when you meet them and to coach them on this path, it, it's going to take a long time. So I'm very curious on knowing like, what is a typical client? Like what are, what are they like when they um, had that first conversation with you? Do they already have ideas of, you know, what they could be or what their problems are or are, you, are they really they stuck and you're just trying to help them unblock? It's fascinating. Um, most people, 99% know what they're dealing with. So a lot of the things people will say is, um, I want more freedom in my life. I want to be able to change careers. I want to spend more time with my children. Like people really know what the problems are. They will even know what is in their way, by the way. <laughs> but the things they think they are, what they think they know is in the way are typically external things. So they'll say, I can't change my career because of money, or I can't start my business because of time. All those things are external scenarios, but it's never the case. Typically, what will be in the way is something that we believe about ourselves. So we might say things like, I, I, um, I don't make enough money, that's what's in the way. Somebody might be communicating, I'm not worthy to start my business. I need that security of full-time job. So my job is to really hear what somebody is saying about their life scenario and translate it um, into what is really going on in their life. It's like speaking different languages. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet like that's, I can imagine you've, you've had some really powerful, but also quite intense experiences with with you know, working with these clients. Like I'm, I'm sure that you've had um, really taken in a lot of what, their emotions. Um, I'm curious, like what is, has been like something to help you with dealing with like emo emotions, especially when you've had a difficult coaching call. <laughs> so you're right. Um, I work with people from all walks of life, like all walks of life. They could be accountants, lawyers, engineers, um, mom, dads, retirees. Um, I've worked with people where their daughter is dying as an example. Um, I've worked with people who've been sexually abused. So there are lots of emotions involved and you would never know. Like these are people just walking in everyday life, you know, being strong, being brave. You ask them how they are, they'll tell you that they are fine, but inside they're dying. And in my experience, that's most of the world, <laughs> unfortunately. <Yeah. laughs> and that's why I feel so privileged and grateful to do the work that I do. And it is a lot of energy um, that I use in all, all sorts, whether it's, it's mental energy, it's spiritual energy, it's physical energy. So there are many things that I do. One of the things that I have done, of course, it has been working with you, you know, which has been amazing. You know, would catch up uh, weekly, 6 a.m., you'd be at my home, and sometimes even earlier at request because of my schedules. Um, yeah, but that one hour training of focusing on my body, working on my what I thought was only working on my body, strengthened my mind and strengthened my spirit. But it wasn't just because I was doing personal training, it was because of the space you are as well. So you were holding space for me to 
gain power and not all personal trainers can do that by the way because i have interviewed many personal trainers before choosing to work with you and i didn't feel that that safety i didn't feel that energy because i am sensitive to people's energy that way so of course you know um my my fitness regime has been critical um in my mental health and well-being and being literally strong with showing up for my my clients um the other thing is that i'm highly routined um by choice i love my routine it's a discipline so i spend time journaling nearly every day i do my journaling and that's like speaking with myself and speaking to my higher power um and i share everything i'm scared i'm tired i can't believe this happened everything and what that does for me is that i am not keeping things inside my head i'm i'm bringing them out here so it empties me out of all my concerns all of my own feelings all my own achievements which creates a space for me to show up for others um so i love that and i have holidays when i'm on holiday i'm on holiday <laughs> i don't <Yeah>. work i <laughs> don't work mondays mondays is my day off um i spend time with my husband every day you know we have our coffee chai latte catch up so connection um so i am always taking care of every aspect of my well-being in life what can happen is you know we can spend lots of time let's say working because that's where we get achievement validation and success or we may focus on fitness because that's where we get you know validation and success i can't live like that i can't focus on one area i have to focus on all areas for it to be balanced and for me to show up after all that's what i'm also teaching my clients that's what they're coming to me yeah. for to have a, a full life I, re- I really admire that, like, especially when I, when I met you and you said, oh, I take Mondays off and then you don't start work until 10 o'clock. I was like, oh, this, 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 this is really like good. You, you set yourself time to focus on yourself, your ambitions, your goals, but also what sets you up for the day. And then you're ready to take on your, your work for the day, your coaching calls, um, more writing. I, I think like what you've, what you've done is you've had this opportunity to, with your business to um, give yourself flexibility to work on your terms. And I, I think that, that's, that's really powerful that, you know, a lot of us can like hopefully strive, sort of strive to get to, especially as a business owner.